Hey Cloud Gamers, with both Stadia and GeForce now being available on iOS, we thought it would only be fair to give them a direct comparison. Starting off with a speed test here then of Cyberpunk 2077. If you're not interested in the speed test and the launch speed here, you can just skip to the graphics comparison. As we see here, because I'm using the Steam version, we do have to go through the Steam launcher as well. And this is one of the bugbears of GeForce now that we have to have these extra launchers in place with Google Stadia already launched straight into the title sequence here for Cyberpunk 2077 and hitting the Night City screen there at 42 seconds. And we're still waiting for Steam to load. You can't see as it's just off screen here, but it is just waiting for load there. And then we also have the GOG pop-up screen, which we have to click through twice if you haven't linked already. It's such a shame that Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't have crossplay as Stadia hits the game screen after load at 1 minute 9. It is impressive to be able to load from cold start all the way through to actual game start in just 1 minute 9 seconds. And Cyberpunk for GeForce Now on Steam is just hitting the menu screen there at 1.39. So we come through the last section then to load the game on GeForce now. Stadia is driving around for a bit. And there we have it, GeForce now in game after the load at 2 minutes 4. So 55 seconds pretty much difference in the load speed here. Even though it is just over two minutes, that's not bad for any system to be able to load up a game from scratch all the way through to actual playability, but the speed of Stadia really does shine here. So we're going to move over to the graphics comparison then. Starting off with a very quick blind test to see if you can tell which one is which. The one on the right definitely has a lot more NPCs moving around. Whereas the one on the left, it seems to be a little bit more vibrant on the colours. And as we look at the building here, we can see the time of day is a little bit different, but the image on the left does seem to be a lot clearer on the building. And as we show up the names here, you can see that Google Stadia is the one on the left and GeForce Now is the one on the right. It is worth noting that Google Stadia was on the visuals mode here and GeForce Now is running on the high settings with ray tracing on and DLSS on balanced, trying to get that 60 frames per second mark but I think it does bounce between the 30 and 60, whereas Google Stadia is capped at that 30 frames per second on visual mode, not that you notice that much, especially on mobile. As we switch to Google Stadia, some direct gameplay here, it is worth noting that what you are seeing here is a larger version of what you see on the phone. On the phone it does look absolutely spectacular on both the platforms because of the size of the screen versus the resolution that it's actually outputting. So when it's enlarged here you do lose a bit of that quality. But you can still see generally how good it looks. Still getting used to shooting on a controller. When people are hiding behind cover, it does make things a bit more difficult. As we move over to GeForce now, we can see, looking at the car, that we've got quite a lot more detail on the roof there. And the look at the graffiti on the bridge there is extremely clear. And the lighting effects as we're moving around these different areas does look absolutely superb. 
One of the main reasons I like playing on GeForce now is because of the cross save. I play on Steam mostly on PC. So being able to play on GeForce now with the Steam version and continue my save is definitely a huge bonus. It's such a shame that they did not put in crossplay, as Stadia is the fastest to load, but I feel that the quality is slightly better on GeForce now, especially being able to have that ray tracing. It is a close call though, and both systems look extremely good. As you can see here side by side as we're driving around, there isn't a lot in it, especially on a small screen, but with the GeForce Now version having that ray tracing and essentially cross save because it's the Steam version, I do feel that it's slightly better placed here. But if you are only going to be playing on Stadia, then you are not going to be disappointed with the visuals mode, and the performance on iOS here is absolutely fantastic for both Google Stadia and GeForce Now. Let me know on iOS what you're going to be playing on, Stadia or GeForce Now, or a bit of both. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and we will see you next time.